What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to the vlog. So this week I'm gonna attempt the most ambitious video that I've ever done. I'm gonna try and film a little bit of my day every single day of this week so you guys can get a good idea of what it is like to be in a full week of medical school. So hopefully you guys enjoy, it's gonna be a really interesting video I think. So it's Monday morning now, it is 7.30 and I'm heading to placement. This week I'm attached to the GI ward or the gastrointestinal ward. We have a couple of options that we can do. We can either sit in clinics, go on a ward round or go to theaters so obviously I'm going to theaters because last week when I was in theaters I actually got to assist you guys can see a little bit more about that on my Instagram page I'll leave it linked over here anyways it's starting to rain a little bit and this camera is definitely not weatherproof so I'm gonna put it away and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit so early Alright, so that morning didn't exactly go to plan. The consultant whose surgeries I was supposed to be observing is apparently on holiday. I showed up at the hospital at 8.30 in the morning and nobody was there for me. So I decided to sit in on a gastrointestinal clinic. I saw a bunch of very interesting patients all revolving around colorectal cancer. And I even managed to take a full patient history by myself. I also did an abdominal exam on him. And then I reported all my findings back to the consultant. And then we went back to the patient and talked together about management and treatment because those are things that I'm not really sure about. So I'm really, really proud that I managed to do that. I also saw more digital rectal exams today than I would care to see, so it's nice to get a break from that as well. So anyways, that was a useful morning session in clinical placement, and now I'm going to continue on with my day. Thursday's video is not ready for upload, so I have quite a bit of editing to do, which is what I'm working through right now. Hopefully I can finish editing this video by tomorrow night so that on Wednesday I can spend the full day studying for my upcoming progress test. Good morning. It is about 8.40 on Tuesday morning. I'm heading to meet my scholarly project partner in order to continue working on our research project that we're hopefully going to be able to submit by December. Currently on Westminster Bridge, there's the London Eye. I'm sitting outside of St. Thomas's Hospital, which is over there. Basically, we're working on a research project in the field of pediatrics. Most of the work that we're doing right now involves patient data collection. We have a list of patients with certain characteristics that we're interested in, and then we have to troll through their patient data in order to find specific pieces of information that will be relevant to our research paper. Some of these patients have hundreds of documents for us to look through, so we're basically going to be doing this all day from 9 till 5. So I think I'm going to get going. It is now 10 to 9, and I need to be there at 9 a.m. for a fresh start. It's a long day ahead, but it is an interesting research project so I'm happy to do it. I'm at the Evelina Children's Hospital now. We've been collecting patient data for about four hours, so I think it's time to break and get some lunch. We're going through the lists at quite a decent pace, but we just have so many patients to get through, so we definitely need to dedicate more time to this over the coming weeks. Just another busy day in medical school, and I've bumped into somebody that I think you'll be pretty excited to see. Pretty nice, eh? So it's about 5 p.m. now. We're done with patient collection for the day. We managed to get a lot of work done, so I'm really happy about that. I'm gonna start heading home because I have a 10 minute presentation tomorrow and I haven't started getting ready for that. So definitely gonna need a little bit of time. All right, better start heading home. All right, 
back home now, managed to call my girlfriend and catch up for a little bit. So the presentation that I have tomorrow that I was telling you guys about is part of our doctor as teacher module, which is supposed to get our teaching skills up to par because obviously a big part of a doctor's job is to be able to teach. So every medical student has been assigned a 10 minute presentation to teach anything that is non-medical. So the skill that I've chosen to teach is how to spin a pen in between your fingers. Now, obviously this is not a very useful skill that's gonna help you be a better doctor or anything. Maybe it'll help with dexterity if you wanna be a surgeon. So the presentation's tomorrow and I haven't started preparing yet. Seeing as I've been talking to a camera for the last year and a half, I think I'm gonna be okay. I'm just gonna practice what I would say in class when I'm teaching this pen spinning thing. And that's what you guys will see a time-lapse of right now. All right guys, I'm just gonna give you a quick behind the scenes of how I make some of my thumbnails. As you can see over there, I've got the massive, massive light. And then behind me over here, I've got my iPad and my monitor with a bunch of medicine related things. And this is gonna be for an upcoming video. That video will have already been out by the time you guys see this. If you haven't seen it already, definitely click the link up here and go check it out after this video. So I think this is about as much productivity as I can do in one day. And I will pick up this vlog and see you tomorrow. Presentation starts in three minutes. All right, so bright and early on a Wednesday morning. I don't have time to explain what we usually do on Wednesdays right now because I am definitely a little bit late to my presentation. So I need to hustle, get over there, and I'll catch up with you guys after that. The goal is to get from the starting position between these two fingers Alright, so that was actually pretty interesting. It was a nice break from the usual presentations that we do at medical school, which are obviously a little bit more stressful and more serious. This was kind of like no expectations, just go in, have a little bit of fun and practice how to teach. So today is Wednesday, which is the only day of the week that we don't have anything scheduled, which means I can actually go to the library and get some proper work done. So our progress test is in a week and a bit now and I really need to get studying. So I'm gonna go to the library and have a really good long session of going through practice questions and learning all the upcoming material. now it is currently 5 15 p.m and i was starting to get quite drowsy in the library so i went and got myself a coffee and i'm going to push through for a couple more hours until 8 p.m when a couple of the graduate medics on the kcl course we're going to meet up for some drinks and dinner at a place called mercato mercato metropolitano this sort of really nice open area with lots of different food places that you can get food from so i'm really looking forward to that as a nice way to end the day as a reward for all those hours in the library I figured you guys could use a change of scenery, so I've come to my sister's room. The first time she'll know that I used her room is when she watches this video, so hey twin, hope you don't mind. This very long Wednesday has come to a close. It's currently 10.50, it's pretty late at night. It's been quite a long day. I've done a lot, it's been very productive, so I'm really happy about that. I'm just gonna jump in the shower, watch something and relax, and then go straight to sleep. I hope you guys are enjoying this format where I'm walking you through the whole week. Definitely let me know by leaving a comment down below and a like on this video. I'd really appreciate some feedback, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for another exciting day of clinical placement. Good morning guys, it's early on a Thursday morning, which means it's another day that we're on clinical placement. The weather is absolutely horrible. So I'm taking refuge underneath this like little park structure here. In the afternoon, I've been assigned something quite exciting. There's a multidisciplinary meeting for the intensive care unit patients under the GI team. So I'm really excited to see that and sort of see how all the different members of the healthcare team sit down, talk together and discuss what might be in the best interests of the patient given their very, very complicated situations. In the meantime, up until that meeting, I'm gonna spend a couple of hours in the hospital here at the library just trying to get some work done studying for our upcoming test because I know I still have quite a bit of work to do for that. So anyways let's get this day started and go to the hospital. All right. 
right, so I just attended the multidisciplinary team meeting and honestly it was very interesting to attend. I'm happy that I went. I'm currently in the common room for medical students at this hospital. Let me give you guys a quick tour. Just got a bunch of lockers everywhere couple of computers, couple couches. So during the meeting, everyone spoke very fast and used a lot of acronyms. So I was constantly on my phone Googling things. But even though I don't understand everything that's going on, I find it really useful to sit in on these meetings and sort of try and follow one patient at a time, how they presented in the hospital, the different differential diagnoses, what investigations were done to try and figure out what was going on, and then ultimately what the investigations showed and how the treatment and management is gonna move forward from there. So I think that's all the clinical stuff that I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna go for lunch now with a friend and then probably spend a couple more hours studying in the library before going to the cinema with a couple of friends to watch the Joker. All right, Friday morning. So Fridays are pretty interesting this year. We alternate between one week being on mental health placement. So we get placed in a mental health hospital where we get to see things like eating disorders, personality disorders. It's really, really interesting stuff. And then on alternating weeks, we have what are called balance groups, which if I remember this correctly, are originally groups that GPs used in order to discuss patients that they saw that left an impact on them. It sort of gives an opportunity for medical students to talk about something that might be upsetting them, or maybe they saw a patient that caused them a little bit of distress, helps build this community feeling. So I'm currently at Victoria Station in London. It is 9.30 in the morning. And luckily these things start at 10 a.m., not 9. So it's nice to get a break and not start so early today. Anyways, I'm gonna take the remainder of this 10 minute train ride to respond to your messages on Instagram. Think we're there. Alright guys, so it's Friday evening, I've finally finished studying and I can now go and relax. I haven't done any exercise since the run that I did on Sunday, so I'm going to meet up with a couple of friends to play basketball for the next two hours. I'm really excited to get some exercise in and just relieve some of the stress that's built up over this week. After that, we'll probably grab some dinner and then meet up at a friend's house to play some video games and chill. Have a nice relaxed Friday evening in, just get to de-stress so I can wake up and study again all of tomorrow. Oh my gosh, guys, two hours of continuous nonstop basketball later. I'm home, I'm showered, and I'm just so exhausted. I've got my protein shake over here. I'm gonna drink this and then order some food and go over to my friend's house. I'm gonna chill there, spend some time, relax, and enjoy my Friday night. We have actually made it from Monday to Friday, and I've recorded quite a lot, actually, every single day. This has been a really big project for me, you know, taking this huge, big camera. Let me show you guys. It's pretty big. It's not the smallest thing in the world. So I've taken the camera with me every everywhere, to university, to three different hospitals, to my friend's house, to basketball practice, just everywhere. Please do leave me feedback in a comment down below about this sort of different editing style compared to my usual vlogs. Also, of course, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, leave me a comment, subscribe, etc, etc. It really helps motivate me to continue making videos and it shows me that you guys are actually enjoying the content that I'm producing. Anyways, guys, it's been an interesting experience. It's been a fun experience and I hope you've enjoyed this week-long vlog and I will catch you in the next one. Peace!